What's up everyone, DJ Kirby123 right here. Today, we're going to capture a so-called legendary, not technically a legendary since it's pretty easy to catch. This is Volca- Volcarona. It used to be called, um, uh, Ursa Arena, but now they decide to rename it. That's a good clue of saying that it isn't legendary since basically all the legendaries didn't get renamed, so... Until you're ready, as soon as you're ready, you can take this on. See, he's not even bigger than me. Most legendaries are basically 10 times as big, but this one isn't. This is Volcaria, like I said before. Um, it's level 70, a really high level Pokemon. It has a lot of special attack. Um, with the moves Silver Wind, Quiver Dance, Heat Wave, and Bug Buzz. The thing you have to wa uh, watch out for is the Quiver Dance. You don't want it to set up too much of those. Like it, like that right now. It raises its attack. I mean, special attack, special defense, and speed, which means it's a freaking beast. But luckily, I gave it one quick thunder wave so I can cut its speed in half, so I can send in um uh one of my Pokemon just to try weaken it down. But that Quiver Dance basically just wrecked my chance. I know I have both Bacon and Bob that can take it out with like a head smash or a uh, Rock Slide, but this, this is really frail to rock types, four times um, weak to it, and I did a pre-recording, it failed, and this died. So let's just hope that this doesn't happen again. So I'm just going to be surfing it, hopefully I can survive one hit from it, because like I said, it has massive special attack. I think this is in Uber, in the UUTS, but I don't really like using legendaries, even things that aren't even legendaries, but uh, that looks like legendaries. Wow. Enough, uh, not, uh, not very effective did that much. That's the reason why how freaking strong Volcar Volcarona is. So, as soon as you get into low health plus status conditioner, this is time for me to start chucking the Ultra Balls. So, let's go. Ultra Ball number one. Let's see if this works. One. Oh, that didn't work. It's gonna go for another Bug Buzz. Not very effective, to, but it still took me out. So, I'm gonna send in Bacon, which is my best counter for it, because it basically cock blocks its fire move, and it, both its bug moves, Silver Wind and Bug Buzz. So, I know Bacon can take a couple of hits, and I can just Hyper Potion off the damage. So, let's just use another Ultra Ball on it, see if this time it will catch. Hopefully. Maybe. Ah. Oh. It's gonna go in for another bug buzz. It's going to not hurt at all, but it still did a decent chunk. So let's go for one more Ultra Ball. Let's see, this one goes in. One, two, three. Yes! Volcarona is ca it's caught. Sweet. The Sun Pokemon. And since I feel like calling it something close to its name, I'm going to call it V O L A I A Viola. Volia. So this is DJ Kirby123. See you when I'm exit out of the cave. See you then. And we're back. Right after you leave the cave, you might want to talk to this. Uh, all you have to just give the Rage Candy Bar to it, and you wake the Diamantin. And this is a special Diamantin. It's a Zen Mode Diamantin. So it's very special. So, if you guys want it, go ahead. There's only like 5 or 6. I forgot to count them, even though they were right there. I'm just gonna kill this one, since I don't really um, like catching Pokemon that I'm not meant to be caught. So, bye-bye Diamantin. And that's not even enough for a level up. Alright. Um, yeah, you have five dumb you have five Zen Mode Diamantins. It's a special one, you have the But if you ask me, I prefer the normal Diamantins since they're more offensive. And so let's just fly to where we're supposed to go. But yeah, we're gonna have to go back to Underella Town to, so we can take on another family of the riches. But first I'm gonna heal up so be right back. Alright, welcome back. 
Um, so let's just take take on another member of the riches, and we're gonna go deep within the family residence. It's sort of um catastrophic that you have to keep on repeating the whole thing. So yeah. So let's just beat up the riches. Back to rich boy with the level 60 weasel. At least make it a float so so it's, so it's actually slightly challenging. But no, he doesn't listen to me and just keeps it as a weasel. So as punishment, you gotta get earthquake. And Bob finally grows to level 59. That's uh, and that's basically Draco. No, that hard. Next one. It's going to be Rich, Rich's Suzanne, the Teddy Ursa, level 61, slightly harder, but not really that hard. I can just Earthquake sweep the whole team. And next one's a Low Punny, which is faster than me, so I'm just going to go on it. But more needs some experience here. So let's see how you like a poison jab in the face. Oh no, Kuchan. You're, you're not going to last in the Kuchan, are you? I know you're not. So let's go Sonic. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, guys, I just brought Wobbs with me, just, um, so... Just to show event, basically. Let's go for a punishment and take you out. Yeah, because I'm gonna need Wobbs to do the diving event that, um, most people want to do. So let's just invest another member of the which is... Um, which is Kaldora. And the one with the bronze ore, that's basically it. And I need a better Pokemon than, um, uh, yeah, like, why not, let's just chuck in G6. It's gonna use heal block, that means I can't heal, oh, well, what should I do? Should we out my healing, I can just surf you out. But, as you can see, Bronzor has massive defense, but, unless it's Bronzorg, it isn't that good. So, just go ahead, surf, and you're gone. Next one's a Kangaskhan. So Bacon, let's go break break it. Bacon's also close to level 60 as well, so let's just um break ray and of course it's faster than me. But luckily enough, I able to get one free hit and you're gonna die next turn anyway. Unless you get a crit. Oh well, done. Yeah, it's eventually gonna get harder since you press all of them in one straight run. A girl lock. Damn, I forgot what it was, but man, let's just get in there, you since you need the experience. Oh, that. Hello, buddy. How are you liking when he gets G6'd? Let's go for the curse, suicidal. Of course, as usual, but it's better if you have the normal curse, take away, atta uh, take away speed for attack and defense, but whatever. Grew to level 38. 58. Another member, it's old oh, Gramps. I'm so excited, my blood is boiling. May I please virtue? He doesn't even ask. Oh well. I mean, he, do he does ask, but he doesn't give me a choice. Here's a Shuckle. I think the only weakness is fire, but this thing is bulky as shit. And especially when it raises attack and defense. Wait a minute. See how he's lucky when I get an earthquake. Aha! Uh -huh. It just did something really stupid, like switching its attack for my attack. And Shock has massive defense, so I don't know why he did that. But, it's his loss. That thing would have walled my whole team, but since he did that, it sucks for him. This time, oh crap, this is a Moxie Gator. Bacon, you have to be faster. Brick, break. Of course it's not. Now it's going Moxie up. And that ain't good. Listen and Sonic. Do a dig. Because I accidentally um, got real grass on so for dig so I got out the cave. Let's go for the EQ, it's gonna take me out. And it's gonna get the Moxie. Yeah. Ouch. I know Vermont's faster, this thing's going to sweep my whole team if I don't outspeed it. Poison jab. Done. Next one's a Politoed. I don't really have much of a counter for it, so... Looks like you're getting more damn, Getting more experience. X is a Swagger, yes. I always wanted to get Swaggers. Oh, of course I had to hit myself in confusion. 
It's basically just, um, made a perfect counter for it, but I snapped out of confusion. It's going to fly. I'm just gonna let Wobs take the hit. Take one for the team, Wobs. You're just a hit him, so like, you won't mind. It's gonna bounce on me, and goodbye, Wobs. Alright, get him a bit more. Finish it off. Poison jab it. Licky licky. Oh crap, I know the bulky ass poke. Oh well, it always goes in for a toxic. Let's go for power whip, not very effective. What sort of class did you come into? Because this is Pokemon knowledge and you know power whips won't do anything to me. And why you keep on doing it? It's not very effective. It's clearly stated. But since this thing is bulky ass, I think the uh, toxic will be able to take you out. Oh, one HP. Exodus. Done. Next one's a Politoed. I can out actually outspeed it. So, Vermont's actually becoming the star. Poison Jab. Done. Finally. We defeated the rich one. No matter how old I get, that Pokemon Battles. But, uh, you almost beat defeat me. This is bad. Alright, I need to quickly help, so I'll be right So, what you want to do is just go and dive. I'm going to speed the rest of this part up, since I don't really want to waste that much time. And, so, let's just dive down to this underwater water place, basically. That's basically what it is. Um, so, this the whole point of this maze is that um, you have to get as much as you can 500 steps. Um, once you see um, one of those warnings, it means 100 steps has passed. And basically wants to make you keep on going, uh, hurry up, basically. Um, yeah, I'm probably replacing the underwater music as much as I like it. I am really am wasting time, wasting both you and I. So, it's like 200 steps right now, so I have enough for you to get, to get as much relic items as possible. So I can sell them to, um, basically the richest, the richest, um, karate guy. Was, um, we couldn't get anything since we have nothing expensive, but now since we have those relic things, again, so let's just fly there right now. So, um, yeah, as soon as you go in there, talk to him, and you can sell basically, um, or everything that has the word relic in it for a high price. Um, yes, see, look at my money, it's going up. So, I'm gonna sell my abs next time. We'll take on another legendary. This DJ Kirby one two three.